Morning guys, and I was just going to do a quick update on this uh, air compressor. Uh, we got the outside of the tank painted, and we cleaned the uh, motor and pump, and we got those uh, done with a high temp paint. And we're just using that as kind of a sub base. And now we're going to give it a final coat. And this air compressor already has a new home, so uh, that didn't take long. Uh, the belt guard still needs a little bit of love. The screen was coming loose, and I made this little, uh, I put a hem and a piece of sheet metal and folded it over the, uh, the expanded metal and just uh, riveted it in with some steel rivets. Riveted. Riveted it. Yeah, say that five times fast. Uh, liquid fill gauge. Uh, this thing is pretty bouncy. I mean, it, uh, it, uh, it's a real thumper. You can feel this actually on just on these uh, wood slats. You can feel the concrete slab uh, thumping a little bit when it's running. But uh, check valve checked out good. We've actually got tank pressure and it held overnight. It dropped a little bit. We soaped all the fittings and everything. But I would uh, attribute the uh, pressure drop to uh, uh, the temperature change overnight. And this was ah, this is what I'm trying here. Um, the motor bolted directly down to this plate before, this top plate, and, uh, the plate was actually cracked. Um, and we, you know, we ground those, uh, uh, cracks out and, um, uh, filled them with weld and ground them flat again. But this is, uh, I've sandwiched, uh, some UHMW in there and you can see where it's kind of deformed to the slot. And the bottom has just got a threaded plate. Let me get, see if I can get under there. Yeah, it's just a threaded block that crushes that uh, UHMW in there. So uh, I'm hoping that's going to keep this plate from cracking again. And it gives you, it also gives you a nice slide when you loosen those bolts. It gives you a nice uh, uh, slide across that top deck. So I'm, I'm hoping that's going to eliminate some of that uh, vibration there. Or some of that cracking and the fatiguing of, the, of this top plate. I mean, uh, this weld here, I actually redid it. I ground it out and redid it because it was starting to show signs of a of a crack along this uh, or along this this thinner metal. The top plate's not that thin. It's not anywhere near the thickness of the tank. But this weld, uh, um, I, I redid, and I'm I can attribute that to uh, to the vibration of the of the of the pump and motor assembly. Uh, my leak here, non-existent, a little bit of the magic T-tape, and pretty much gone. We ran it for a little while yesterday, changed the oil, um, got all the gook out of there. There was an awful lot of sludge. We're probably going to run it for another week or, or so and change it again. Uh, but the pump runs good. After it comes up on temp, no rod knocks. Uh, Tubing still needs to get changed out. Uh, we're going to uh, go ahead and put uh, fin tubing in between the uh, primary and secondary and between the secondary and tank. So we'll have a double chance to cool down. Um, the tank here sure gets hot. I mean, it, 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 uh, it, it gets quite warm when it's running. So it's, uh, it's due for a, for a cool down before it gets to tank. You'll have a tank full of... Uh, Nice condensed uh, air that way. And we got a wafer type drain valve down there. So, anyways, that's the progress. And uh, like I said, this thing's are it's not even done yet. And it's got a new owner. Uh, here we just got a temp end, so it'll run. Motor starter that came with it and some uh, OSHA approved wiring. Um, and the chosen color. Boom. <laughs> Sunrise red. So he wants he wants it raging red. So the whole thing's getting uh uh he's already started taping. Tape the ball valve, tape the gauge, tape the motor plate, tape some little various sundries, and squirt it. Done deal. Alright, but that's uh that's progress. Okay, well we got our uh, compressor finished. No, that's not a compressor. I'm going to surprise you. Squint your eyes. If you got sunglasses, time to put them on now. Bing! 
Okay, Raging Red, and that is, uh, uh, that's like the blonde in the red dress at the dinner party right there. Uh, this guy's put it outside of his shop, but then he said, you know, I don't want to attract any attention to my shop and have people know what's going on inside of there. So, pretty much the wrong color for not attracting attention. It looks like it's doing about 45 miles an hour just sitting here on a bunch of cardboard. Anyways, uh, yeah, final coat, raging red, looks pretty good. Uh, still due for a back uh, section of the belt guard. Uh, got a decent gloss out of it. I don't know how this is turning out on video. It's, <laughs> it's pretty blinding here in the screen. But uh, I think uh, I think you'll be pleased with that. And what I did is a uh, uh, the first coat was pretty heavy, uh, kind of orange peeled it on with some acetone in it to let it uh, let it kick pretty quick and um, and fairly heavy. And then I came back and uh, fogged uh, with mineral spirits uh, with the, with the last little coat and just kind of fogged it on top of all that after about 20 minutes and uh, let it melt into the bottom coat and uh, develop the gloss and I only got one sag in it I don't even know that you can see it but there's a sag right and about there so it's not even a full-blown run just a little saggy but she's red and I mean to tell you that's uh, raging red I think the, the name of the color was Sunrise Red, but I think we're going to call this like a Safety Red or a Alarm Red, Five Alarm Red. So this project is at a close. The, the pump ran good. We found the oil leak. Motor was okay. Just squirted some paint on it. Uh, we adjusted the pressure switch yesterday. It's got a 125 uh, cut in and a 175 cut out. Um, it doesn't work too hard uh, between 150 and 175 making that last 25 pounds it's uh, it develops the air really fast some of the some of the pumps uh, they, they perform really well between 100 and a quarter and 150 and then they kind of fall down between 150 and 175 and you just end up wasting electricity uh, spinning the hell out of a pump and building up heat and wearing out your pump trying to make that last 25 psi but if you use a stopwatch as you are letting the air build in the tank and make sure your pump and your system is not laboring uh, at the high end, you can go ahead and run your run your tanks at the higher pressure. And that's what I use to gauge that. Um, you know, if the, just, uh, just to get an extra 25 PSI out of your tank uh, when your shop's probably going to be regulated down to 100 and a quarter anyways is just kind of silly. But uh, all right. <laughs> That's the end of this project. Uh, I'm not going to be around for the install, but uh, this thing has already got a home. This was the color of choice from the customer, so I didn't even have this thing done, and it was already sold. Alrighty, thanks for watching, guys.